It's a bit of a native hairy vetch that grows around these parts. It just grows like a weed. I don't ever try to kill it or anything. I just let it grow because it's fixing nitrogen in the soils, fixing nitrogen in the soils. And um, it just grows, as you can see here, all that's just hairy vetch. It's got a bed here that goes around and another long bed like that. And it's just, hairy vetch is just kind of taking it over, which that's great because it's, again, I'm gonna chop it in, turn it in, and it's gonna just keep fixing nitrogen. It does it every year now. I like it because it comes up way before the grass does and it's just everywhere around these parts. I've seen it down by the river, I've seen it everywhere. And you can see it's supplying nitrogen for the, the, the little lettuces here. Lettuces are uh, a little disappointing in these lettuces, but uh, it's been so wet and so soggy and that they just haven't had a, much of a chance to mature. Uh, quick update here, this bed I did for the raised bed growing mastery course, this big box bed, I oriented it ahead here this is kind of a north-south orientation and we're on a hill and I find that when I orient it like this this end look how much more uh, oops <laughs> look at how rich this end is <laughs> and look at how barren the end up there is I think all the water and nutrients just washes down here and this gets all the good stuff and that up there is not so great so I think if I build more I'll just orient it east-west um, you know, and do it that way. Although they did, this bed did pretty well with the lettuces last year. <clears throat> Got a little bit of weeding to do with it, but it's doing pretty well. I just wanted to show you guys this hairy vetch and the continued uh, updates on the uh, turnips. Ooh, the turnips here. I don't know uh, how long it will take these to eventually die on off. Um, and we can collect those seeds. So I plan on growing some amaranth in this bed once it's done. Next thing, let's come on over here. Ugh. Getting a little too old for this. Those of you who may see this here, obviously is the, one of the starting bins from the, from the uh, springtime growers course. And these are the baby choys. Uh, again, all of them are great. The ones we transplanted in are doing pr fairly well. They're growing slowly. This one here is, not, is, is very the slowest, but they're all beginning to establish now, putting on true leaves. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't know what that is, but that's something. Uh, another probably a lettuce seed or some such thing. And here we have our little rosemary plant. Need to start clipping it and training it to, to, to bush on out. And I may turn this, probably get some cilantro and various things going here. And, uh, and that's kind of an update on the Greenhorn Garden right now. Very late start this. Normally I'm already harvesting lots of lettuces and things. Uh, it's just very difficult winter, very wet. Wettest winter I can remember in my entire life. And so that's a bit frustrating, but we're going to keep going. Sometimes, you know, spring gets here whenever it gets here. You know, God has, he keeps his own counsel on, you know, when the seasons are going to move around and get here and how the planet's going to work. And it takes a lot of planning to run a whole planet and a whole universe. So, but anyway, I know some of you guys don't like all the philosophizing, but, uh, but there you have it anyway. And uh, that's a update on what's happening in the Greenhorn Garden. What's happening in your garden? What... What have you been able to do? What kinds of things have you been able to get out and do? And what kinds of things haven't you been able to do? I mean, because it's been, I know some of you guys up north have been just hammered this winter, I, you know. And, uh, and so just let me know. Let me know what you, what, what's, what's going on with you guys. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.